Our MPAR is the most flexible concept ever for rare space planners. Obstacle clearance adapted both laterally and vertically. Infinite combination of turning and straight legs for procedure design. For designing an RNPAR approach procedure, the rules in ICAO.9905 must be followed. For SID, the regulations based on ICAO DOC 8168 are followed and adapted to the RNP value as necessary, as no specific design regulations for SID are published yet. The operator may specify an engine out SID where required. A flight path is defined laterally and vertically. All waypoint coordinates are expressed in WGS84. Most common waypoints used in RNAV are fly over waypoint, fly by waypoint. Due to the higher accuracy requirements of RNPAR operations, the aircraft flight path needs to be defined to follow the nominal flight path. This requires the use of track to fix legs and radius to fix legs. This table shows the different legs and waypoint types used for the construction of RNP and RNPAR procedures. Different standards define the required obstacle clearance, ROC which is the protection area under the aircraft to be clear of obstacles. RNP, RNAV GNSS, Obstacle Clearance Corridor, uses a trapezoid shape, similar to ILS, including a buffer area. RNPAR, RNAV RNP, Obstacle Clearance Corridor, uses a rectangular shape, without buffer area. The calculation of the minimum is based on the obstacles in either the final approach corridor or the missed approach corridor, same as on conventional procedures. As the RNP value defines the width of the obstacle clearance corridor, different minima apply according to the RNP value. Verify that the intended procedure is applicable to the aircraft type. The wingspan of the aircraft is considered in the calculation of the VB and width of the departure corridor.